What's up, people? MJ back with another video. This is like my first video in about two weeks. If you're watching in my previous videos, you know that my voice is quite hard to understand anyway. I've had a really bad chest infection. Hits me a little harder than it would somebody who doesn't have the dodgy voice box. I was trying to do a video like every three days or so because I've been so ill, it's been really difficult. So that's kind of like my first apology for me. I seem to be apologising more for my videos. So I've been really ill and haven't been able to get enough home. I've been done. But I have got loads of boxes which have been delivered from Adidas box after box after box. I'll show you guys some of them. I have opened to have a quick look at. But I'm going to open them again and share it with you guys so you can see exactly what I've got. A few little things, not sneakers or clothes related. How can I not buy this for the of the night? Absolute brilliant. Really Found that in game, dirt cheap, 40 99 I just had to snap it up. Also, while I was in game, I could not buy this. Monster Hunter 3, signed by Ryu Tatsuma. Tatsumi, one of the directors of Monster Hunter. Japanese dude with a name like Ryo Tatsuma, as you can tell. Sharpie signed copy. Fox, just somebody scribbled a load of rubbish and wrote Capcom underneath. But apparently, it really is Ryo Tatsuma Tatsuma, however it is you say in Japanese. I could not buy those games. Smash Bros. Classic and that Ryo Tatsuma sign copy. I love it. And I've said it a few times, Switch Love is a fever pitch. I'm so excited for Mario Kart and Deluxe. I'm playing Double Dash on my GameCube and how good is that game? Mario Kart Double Dash, absolutely awesome. I'll show you guys. I am still trying to set up the streaming on my Mac and I'm going to finally get the Elgato 3 software to work reasonably well, correctly or decently with a Mac. I'll start streaming. I've got loads of cool games. I'm back. These are just a few of the GameCube games I've got which I'm dying. Got some streaming action going. As soon as I work out how to work the software correctly, I'll, I'll get it up and streaming. Problems with the Mac is just not in there to get it working. With Mario Kart and Deluxe just on the horizon, round the corner, how can you not like Double Dash? I hadn't played it until probably about three years ago. I kind of just missed it. Now it's without a doubt my favourite Mario Kart out of all of them. If you didn't get it first time round, go to eBay now straight away and buy it. Regardless of how much it costs you, it is fantastic. Got loads of GameCube games, loads of games I want to start streaming. It's just that cursed Elgato software. So, once I get that up and running, as I've said about a million times, streaming will start. How good is Sunshine? Oh, yeah, I'm only 30 years old and still love Pokemon. Maybe so. But, yeah, some booster packs. Open up a bit later on. So, let's get to the first ones. These are. These are absolutely beautiful. I think these are so special. I've said it in previous videos with this Alexander like, Wang stuff. I think the whole inside out, upside down thing is so clever. And these bags that you get with the sneakers, just a little touch. I can't get over what the material is like. Rubberized plastic. Hopefully, as well, you guys can understand me. You have to just accept my apologies, I'm really sorry if you're struggling. Most of people say, oh, you sound like Darth Vader. Very funny. They are just absolutely beautiful. The AW Skate. And this was, I think it was the second or third drop. So you just had the maroon colour and the emerald green colour of the original wolf grey and orange. I love the AW Skate, but it is really heavy. You definitely know if that's on your feet. And there isn't really much that I haven't already said about the escape. I love the little three stripe that's got pressured into the suede at the back, a little bit of branding, and that awesome little heel pull that they have. You can't see it as well on the bird version. The upside down tree foil it's got in the corner. There. So you get a spare set of laces, the standard black laces on the front and a spare set of flat whites. 
So we kind of alternate the appearance of the shoe. Quite dramatically as well with the white onto the maroon suede. They are insanely expensive. They're about £140 or something like that. That is one of my qualms. You definitely know you've got a quality set of sneakers in the feet, that's for sure. So that's the burgundy eighth escape. I'm just gonna go through them and show you guys what actually turned up. And we'll do a bit more in depth, but as you can hear, it's not great for me to be talking. I thought it's just been weeks, so I can't get something like that. I'll show you guys what I've got. This was the other stuff which I thought was absolutely awesome as well. It looks so big, so big. When I saw it, I thought, oh my god, it's like double XL. AW Velour Polo. I think that's just absolutely awesome. Again, we've got that whole kind of inside out, upside down thing going on. Um, and I thought, yeah, let's copy some too. When you turn the t shirt inside out, You've got like the normal three stripes that you have, and then you can see that traditionally that would be the outside of the t shirt. It really is inside out because you've got like the kind of fleecy bit that would be on the inside on the out. That is awesome. Again, though, it was insanely expensive 110 quid or something. Madness, absolutely madness. So that was the short sleeve. We've also got the long sleeve edition. Again, really big, and that is small. With this, it's got the whole inside out thing going on as well. The three stripes going all the way down, but on the inside. So yeah, no one's ever gonna see it. Madness. I think I'm like the only person as well that likes this AW collection. Because everybody I know, I say, oh, what do you think of the AW stuff? The Alexander Wang stuff, they're like, that's rubbish. Horrible. I really like it, really like it. It's exactly the same, no difference whatsoever to the, the short sleeve polo. The only thing is that it's long sleeve as opposed to short. Again, insanely expensive. Like most of this collection, I think that's about 130, something like that. On to the next thing. This is beautiful. The Alexander Wang Bomber. I love this. Absolutely love it. Again, it's stupidly expensive and it's stupidly large. So this is an extra small. But you know, look at that. I would say that's like a small medium. I love the whole, it's got the AW patchwork. As you can see, you've got four quarters of different material and then you've got different materials on the back. My only one thing puts me up a little bit is the shininess of the front quarter. I love the fact that it's different materials, the four quarters in the back, top back and bottom back. The straight thing going on with the neck, half and half, absolutely love it. I'm going to say on the way through this collection, it wasn't cheap. I think this was like 300, about 250, 300. So yeah, expensive. But, gotta love it. What else have I got? Oh yeah, this was the first time I've ever ordered from Double F. Yeah, Double F. And yeah, came really quick. I couldn't expect through their delivery service. But that was awesome. So, more Alexander Wang sneakers. Absolutely love it. The AW runner. How oh, nice. It's such an unusual shoe as well. When you look at it, you think, what the hell is that? It's like Frankenstein in a sneaker. For me, everybody, well, I say everybody, anyone who's watched my videos knows how passionate I am about boots. I love the pure boots, the ultra boots. The Ultra Boost and Cage, I love it. And it doesn't change here. I absolutely love these Alexander Wang Munners. Now, I really liked the first Alexander Wang Munner. It was like the sock without any laces on whatsoever. This has got laces on and you can't take them off either, which is a bit strange. It's almost like a pull system that you've got going on the back. So it's like push down and pull. And when you look at the shoe, you kind of think, what's going on here? But it's quite simple. 
as you can see there, you've got like a gazelle or a samba tongue underneath. It is literally an inside out shoe, if that makes sense. You've got like the heel patch on the back. You've got the inside mechanism, what would hold the laces traditionally on a normal shoe. And then you've got the tongue, which is inside out, because those would normally be underneath and the tongue would be on top. You can get to the tongue. The detailing is all underneath, tucked away. If only you or ever even know that that is there. I think that is such an awesome looking shoe. Like I said, this was probably one of the sneakers that I was most looking forward to in the collection. I did like the AW runner on the first drop, so it was just the sock with the upside down tree foot on the side. No laces or heel tags or anything. What these would look like on foot. Everybody that I know doesn't like it at all. I, on the other hand, we love them. They're not great to try and squeeze your foot into, but this whole like suck thing going on that feels dead strange, really strange. But definitely like him. Just down the bottom, what the shoe looks like. I'll just get a little clip with my phone so you guys can see what I'm looking at down here. Little on foot shot. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Now, these were probably the most expensive out of all of the sneakers I got. These were £180. Crazy expensive. They do look a little bit boaty, long. I am a size 8. They just look a lot longer than they do on foot. Not everyone's a cup of tea, admittedly, but definitely worth the wait for me. I really like them. Now, what else have I got? Another pair. Oh. I really like the, this colour. This is the colour I like best. How nice is that? Beautiful. Again, the Alexander Wang skate in emerald green. I can't get over the quality of the suede. Blows my mind. That's the upside down tree fall that I was trying to show on the burgundy one. It's a little bit easier to see. The rubbish eyesight camera on the MacBook Pro really doesn't do this green justice. I'm just looking at the capture screen now, and that green, or this green that you see, isn't the green that I'm seeing. It's really deep emerald green. It looks really nice. That is two weeks of collecting Alexander Wang stuff. I have got a few more bits and pieces which I want to show you guys, but I do sound like Darth Vader in the Helium Bloom. I do feel a bit Gary. So it looks, so I say I feel a bit Gary. That kind of means I'm like defensive. A bit of shit. I feel a bit of shit. A bit Gary. So yeah, I feel a bit Gary. So I'm not going to bore you to death and sound like Darth Vader on a helium blue. I thought I've just got to show you this thing on the wax stuff because it's so awesome. And I've explained why it's been two weeks since I last did a video. That is the reason why. And that's all the new stuff. So I've got all the medicine, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna get better, and hopefully by this weekend it'll have gone and I won't sound so rubbish and I won't feel so gary so I can come back and do a decent video. I'll leave all the details for all the things because strangely most of it is still available and a lot of it you get from Adidas Online. As always, I'll leave all the details for everything I've got down below if you're looking to get yourself anything. Definitely um, what Aiden was getting so awesome. Overall, I hope you like the video guys. Please give it a thumbs up. Always helps, helps me, help you, you know that. And somewhere here, subscription button. Like-minded people. Push it.